Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Clive, it is day three of IBC. How's the show been so far? No, very good, very busy. We've been very happy with the visitors that, that we've had. A lot of people keeping to their appointments because you know we're launching some new things and they really wanted to see them. So yeah, very pleased so far. Talk to us about ShutterQ and how you're positioned in the broadcast and media industry. Sure, so ShutterQ Robotics, which is what we're rep representing here, we're very much into the studio space. So robotics for studio and permanent installations within studio more towards the higher end in terms of quality. And our reputation is really about reliability as well. So we have a long-term relationship with a lot of our customers. Uh, and in the broadcast space, you know, we have many big customers who depend on the equipment every day. You know, they, they need it to be performing 24-7 use, so it needs to be working. The other side of our business is also the parliamentary market and reliability is of the utmost importance there. So the heads need to be on the whole time. A lot of places can't actually sit if the heads aren't working. So if you can't record, they're not allowed to sit in the parliament. So, and that's the ultimate pressure for reliability. So that goes throughout everything we do. And in the broadcast side, uh, it moves into our, our larger products as well. So yeah, we're reliability and more and more these days we, we have upped everything we do to be able to move as the industry changes because it's much more flexible these days in what we need to achieve. And what are you seeing in the industry in terms of trends and what are you doing to meet the demands of those trends? Well, I guess it was it was inevitable, but the cost, the spends are smaller than, than we would obviously all like. So that means we have to think about studio spaces being more multi-rolled. And we've always been of the opinion that we will provide what the customer needs. But there's a lot of systems out there which lock your studio into one role and means you can't use the studio for any other purpose. And, and rail systems being an example, which we have. But more and more now, some of the rail systems that customers are going for commit you to a particular shot pattern and even worse than that mean you might have to install something in the floor dig up the floor drill into the floor and once you've made that decision that's it you can't change so we wanted to be more flexible than that so we here at the show are launching our system which is part of the smart paired environment which allows you to uh, design a soft a software based track and we're calling that soft rail so the track will appear and you can only drive the pedestal on that track. You can't leave, so you can't crash into anything because you've already designed it in a safe area around the studio. But at any point you can turn that off and it becomes a full roaming XY robot still. So maximum flexibility. So I can have one show which is a rail only show, but I can define where those rails are and I can switch them in instantly. And then the next show can be a full open space where the pedestal can go where it likes. So taking a studio space and making it truly multi-role and having total flexibility on what you do in that space is something that we are we're bringing to the industry here. And who is this for and what are the future use perspective cases? So very much our marketplace tends to be news, but obviously that can expand out into, into anything that has a studio presentation part to it. Um, so our, our users are predominantly news, but also we're getting into sports and analysis. So anywhere where you need to think about uh, the position of the cameras inside the studio so that you can look at a VR space. All of our systems work with, with VR data and can be very, very precise so you can definitely pin an image into a monitor and, and, and know that that's correct and, and we work with all the different providers of all the VR systems so at the high end when you're doing a big sports production with lots of clever graphics you can depend on us to be in the right place and, and, and reliably so but equally you know if you just have an, a big empty space that you want to make into a, a studio with a very simple set we can add extra, extra flexibility to that to give you all of the shots that you need uh, within that environment too. Fantastic. Now, what does the future hold for ShotterQ? 
So lots of development, we've, uh, uh, as well as bringing our, our soft rail system, we've also developed our control system now into a Windows environment, which gives us the opportunity to keep on changing it. So there'll be regular updates and changes to the facilities we can provide in terms of camera control. So we'll, we'll be looking at that. We have new products in development all the time, which uh, maybe when we see you at NAB, we'll have some new big stories for you. But um, at the moment, we're sort of driving those in the background. But everything we do is under constant development. But we don't do that on our own. We listen to our customers, and our customers tell us what they want. And we try then to, to take the total experience and bring it into the, the products and, and tailor it to what the industry needs. We, there's no point us sitting in a big dark room making things that no one wants. So we speak to our customers, we take their feedback and we integrate it into the, into the systems. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Clive, and enjoy the rest of your show here at IBC. We will. Thanks very much.